What's up everyone, Super Games Forever is here, welcome back to my YouTube channels. So in this video I would like to show you on how to record your Switch, um, Nintendo Switch gameplay through your PC. So these tutorials uh, will help you guys that can afford to buy a game, uh, game capture card. So um, what I would like to show you is the way on how we can record the gameplay through our PC. So to record your uh, Nintendo Switch gameplay to your PC, all you have to do is you're going to get the files on the link in the description down below. And of course you will need the custom firmware for this to work. So for those of you guys don't have the custom firmware, this will not work. So uh, the custom firmware that I'll be using for this video is um, Atlas and X Cosmos with the uh, firmware 9.00 or 9.0.1. So um, first thing first, what you need is you're going to download the Forever Switch record here. Go ahead and click to the link on the description down below and it brings you to the uh, Mediafire website and you have to download these files which will cost around 28.99 megabyte so now once you already have downloaded the files you need to extract the you need to extract this switch screen record here and just extract it anywhere you like so i will just extract it to the desktop here since i can show you guys easily um which i know where i put the I extract the files and you guys can also see it on my desktop here so now once you already have that extract the switch screen record now you will when you open it up you will get four folder inside the switch screen record which is this four folder wheel uh, that we will need to um, stream our switch to our PC so the first thing first is we need to copy the atmospheres here um, to our SD card. So now we will need to connect our SD card to our PC. But before that, we will need to download the um, .NET Core here first. And you can see, I, I just put the link on screen down below as usual, so you guys uh, can easily find it by only um, checking the description down below so now just um, download the dotnet core here which is if you guys use the 32-bit um, you just need to get the x64 and it has the x6 uh, x6 as well so if you guys don't know what your pc um what is your pc you can go to the um this pc and then click to properties and you guys can see right here i have the 64-bit operating system so if you guys use the 32-bit i believe you need to download the x86 uh, here so now once you already have downloaded the .NET core you need to install it i mean you need to run it uh, on your pc and then you just need to install it so i already done that and i'm not going to show you guys again so now once you have finished the setup for the net core now we need to copy this atmosphere here the titles and we need to connect our sd card to our pc first so i already have connect my sd card to my pc here and you guys can see all this stuff is from the custom firmware for those of you guys know that uh, are the files that we are using uh, when we have the custom firmware on our switch Right, so now we need to open up the atmospheres folder and title folders and you guys can see this is all the titles that I have on my SD card so now open up the atmospheres folder on the uh, switch screen record that we extract earlier and then open up the titles here now you guys can see the titles here you need to copy this to your SD card that we opened just now which is the atmospheres titles on our SD card now drag and drop it all right so now that it's done uh, for our SD card now we may reject our SD card from our PC 
Alright, so now that we have finished set up our uh, SD card, so now what we need is we're going to open up the uh, USB stream folder here and you guys can see the run.bat now you need to uh, right click to this and then click to edit and you guys can see this is the files that we need to set up before we can use the um, screen I mean the switch screen record so you need to pass your mpv location on the run.bat here so to find the mpv file is you need to go to the switch screen record that you extract earlier go to the mpv folder and you guys can see the mpv.com here now we need to copy this location and then pass it to the uh, your mpv location which is that we edit on the run.bat so now to copy the location all you have to do is you're going to um, press shift and then right click and you guys can see copy as path here now click to the copy as path and now we need to highlight the your mpv location here and then pass it all right so now you need to delete the question mark here i mean the quote mark and on the mpv location you need to change this also at the very end here just uh, mark with the mark here and pass it so now when that is done we need to click to file and then save it all right so that is all what we need to set up on our pc so there is one more step that we need to uh, set up first which is the zedic itself so to set up the zedic all you have to do is uh, we need to boot our neutral switch into the custom firmware first So like I said, I'm using the Atlas and X Cosmos custom firmware for this video. So I'm pretty sure this will work with uh, atmospheres as well. And for those of you guys that are using the Ryan X, this also can, will work. And I'm done. I'm not sure about the SSOX since I don't have the SSOX custom firmware, and I don't have the license for the SSOX itself. Alright, so now once we boot our switch into the custom firmware, now we will need to connect our USB Type C from our PC to our switch. And I forget to tell you guys that you might need to connect to the internet since this one will use the uh, internet uh, access. So I suggest you guys to use the 90 DNS or use the um, Iconicto mode which will help you guys prevent from being banned so now once we already have connect our USB type C to our switch now what we need to do is we're going to launch the Zedic on our PC by going to libusbk win32 bin here you guys can see now double click to it and you can you guys can find the Zedic inside the libusb k I mean the libusb uh, folders so now we need to launch Zedic all right now go ahead and click to options here and then list all devices so you guys can see uh, the device uh, all device th that we expand by I'm clicking to the option and list all devices. So now we need to select our uh, Nintendo Switch. So if you guys cannot see your Nintendo Switch, I mean when you op when you click to the uh, device list here, you guys might need to change the USB drive. I mean the USB slot. Maybe you have the uh, bad USB slot. So I suggest you guys to change the USB slot. I mean your USB uh, from other slot so now we need to select uh, Nisha switch and you guys can see that the uh, 
right now i'm using the lip usbk version 3.0.7 here now you need to change the lip usbk to the um lip usb win32 so uh this is the error that i had while installing the um using the sc uh, switch screen record for the first time so the problem that i had is when i tried to install the driver you guys can see the usb id here so in order to use the uh to stream our switch to our pc we need to get this usb id into the right i mean the right uh, id which is when you open up this website you guys can see the driver setup on windows here you guys can see on the um lock here it says that before installing make sure the target device usb id is 057e and 3006 while the first time that i try install the driver i had this one to uh, 2000 which is if you want to get it work you must get to the uh, 3006 so the to fix this problem is really really easy all you have to do is you're going to just um install i mean install this driver which is the lib usb win32 and click to install driver and then you need to reboot your switch into the custom uh, custom firmware again once you already have installed the driver so it will change into the 3006 so now when you get it right you need after you get the uh, after you have the setup the Zedic itself now when you uh, successfully install the driver with the correct usb id now go ahead and go to the usb stream here and then launch i mean run the run.bat here double click to it and if you guys have installed it correctly it will say starting stream please return to stop so now uh what you need to um what you need to do on your switch is you need to launch the games so this only record the gameplay and not the whole screen if you compare it to the game capture card so now we need to launch any games that we want to play Alright, so now you guys can see now it start recording our switch screen um, through our PC. So now to record this, you need a uh, software. So you just find any software that you like that can record the screen on our PC. So I suggest you guys to use the Op Studio since the Op Studio is really. Uh, easy to use or use Camtasia Studio which what I'm using right now but uh, the problem that that I want to uh, honestly tell you guys is um, when you are trying to play the games it's kind of a little bit lag and I don't know why maybe I don't know how it catch our uh, FPS by using this so I've tried FIFA 18 and sometimes it's really lag maybe of my connection, I don't know. But uh, I will try to play the Luigi Mansion here first. And see if it lag or not. So as far as I can as far as I play this game through using this as uh, switch screen record, it all uh, it run very well. All right, so that is it for this video. So if you guys have any problem to ask, please just leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels if this video is very useful and helpful for you guys. 
So I will see you guys on the next upcoming videos.